Hey, what's up, Studs? Ryan here. We're MR Productions with a giant Lego mystery haul unboxing. At least most of it's mystery. You can kind of see some of it. Today I'm using my New England Patriots knife. Very cool knife because I lost my other one. So for now, we're using the cool knife. Um, if you guys do enjoy the haul video, give it a like. I usually don't do mystery haul videos. I usually just kind of open them as I get them, but this opportunity kind of presented itself. And so today we have a lot of boxes. We're going to kind of start from the top here, work our way down. The first thing I have is a package from ebay this is the first Moss Eisley cantina set i got it for like 120 dollars with then a 15 percent off coupon so somewhere around 100 bucks not a bad deal for a really old set sealed in the box really like this one can't wait to open it someday on a live stream and use that in a comparison video as we go i'm just going to set stuff off to the side so that it's just kind of out of the way because there's a lot of stuff so we'll do this amazon package next up top here so I'm going to the top i obviously uh I'm very limited on space, so as we go, I'll have it'll be a little bit easier for me to open all this stuff. But I didn't really count how much I spent on this haul. It's probably over a thousand dollars so because it's been a few weeks of just kind of getting stuff. So this one, I got three of these sets, and the reason I bought three is so I get free shipping. It's this holiday set. They were ten dollars each. Not a bad set. There are three of them in here. You can show the other two in there, and they were ten bucks each. So that was a thirty dollar order right there. Oh my god, I can barely... This next box is another eBay order here. We have the Mandalorian Pre-Vizsla Star... Pre-Vizsla's Mandalorian Fighter. I got paid like $70 for this on eBay. Not a bad set. Another one that I've just kind of never purchased for my collection, so I figured I would take the opportunity and pick one up when it was at a good price, so not too bad on that one. That's it for that portion of the... That might be all the eBay orders, I think, actually. I think those were the only two eBay orders. I think everything else... Uh, oh, okay, I did have one more. I'm not going to show it in the video just because I don't want to get a copyright strike for it because I'm worried they might do that. But I did get the Welcome to Apocalypse Berg set on eBay. You guys can check out that review on my channel. Again, I'm not going to show it in this video, but Matt, if you show this this giant box right here, that's the box. Oh, yeah, make sure you don't show this. Side. This is the giant box that it came in, this HP box. So that's where the Welcome to Apocalypse Berg set was. But I'm not going to open that one on camera just because don't want to show that and then get a copyright strike. All right, so working with limited space here, I'm going to move some stuff down out of my way for a minute. We're going we're gonna to get the small box here out of the way. All right, so I've given myself a little more space to work with here. I hope you like reading because I bought a book. Uh, I don't remember. This must have been Amazon or Google Express, but I wanted that Y-Wing that comes in this book, so I bought the book. It must have been a good price for me to buy it. Like, I don't know any other... Oh, okay, so the, the actual set itself just comes in this, which is pretty empty other than pieces up here, which is interesting. And then, like, the actual book that is included is completely separate, so that's interesting. I'll have to take a look at that. I don't know if I'll take a look at it in the video, but I will personally be looking at it regardless. But that is the book. You're gonna put the book over there. Next up in this mystery haul, we have a package from lego.com. This one was sent to me as kind of a we effed up package so if you guys remember when i got my first black vip card set they uh the, there was a hole like in the side of it so they sent me another set here and hopefully this one does not have a hole in the side of it it does not so i'll actually be keeping this one sealed for my collection this black vip set they're worth about 100 bucks i don't plan on selling it at all but uh i figured i would get another one and keep it sealed since they had messed up my first package our next package here is from ash and flash it should have some 2019 star wars sets early and or early these were supposed to be here like a week ago and thank you to the united states postal service for getting them here in a very timely manner as they do, typically, you know, pay for three day shipping, you know, about three times that, about nine day shipping, not too bad, so that's what you can expect with the United States Postal Service, but we do have a plethora of LEGO Star Wars 2019 sets in here, if I can ever get this box open. All right, so first set up, oh my god, this box, ah, I'm not surprised by that box size, but this is the uh, TIE Fighter Attack, gotta make sure you focus on those, TIE Fighter Attack, that is a $20 set, next up we have the Escape Pod versus Dubac Micro Fighters. There you go, $20 set as well. Work on that box here. A little dinged up. Then we have the Star Wars Battle Packs here. The Inferno Squad Battle Pack. We have the Praetorian Guard Battle Pack. And then we have the A-Wing Junior set. Not bad either. And a couple more here. And we have the Death Star Escape $30 set. In the US at least. 
And then lastly, we have the Junior's X-Wing. So that is most of the rest of the 2019 Star Wars sets I need. Yeah. Our next box here has the rest of the 2019 sets I need. Speaking of that being most of the rest, this one will have the other two. And alas, we have, oh, we have a little gift there. We have a, uh, what is this? This Darth Maul Sith Infiltrator Microfighter in a plastic bag. I don't know why you put them in plastic bags. And then the, uh, oh, what is this one? Naboo Starfighter Microfighter. And then he sent me a little gift. So Action Flash sent me the uh, Darth Vader pod there. I already have one, so maybe I'll do like a giveaway or something with this. But thank you, Ash Flash. I didn't, uh, I was not expecting that. And we have a letter. Oh no, it's a happy holidays. It says, almost sent this with the other package. Merry Christmas, Ryan. Hope you enjoy the extra little something I included to keep up with the great work. Ash and Flash. Well, thank you, Mr. Ash and Flash. I appreciate it, dude. Right, this here is a little Christmas gift sent to me by a fan. Didn't make it into any of the fan mail videos, so I will just open it here on this video, I figured. I've got a fancy blue blue packaging here. He said it wasn't anything Lego, so it actually makes me kind of excited to see what's inside, right? Oh no, what have we here? We have a Do Your Job Patriots hat. This guy's the best. He's a Cleveland Browns fan. He's just... I guess I'll just put that down there out of the way. We also have a card, which I will read off camera, I guess. And then I assume this is a book. It's from Ed. What are we going to be reading? Oh, it's a book that is co-written, or at least it says forward by Doc Rivers, used to be Celtics coach. 25 words that impact, inspire, and define champions. So... We have a little note there, which I will read again, but thank you very much to him. I'll have to read this book for sure. I appreciate it, dude. This will hopefully make me a champion at making Legos. <laughs> so thank you to Ed for that. We'll open up our, open up, uh, pull out what we have from Walmart here. I've already built a few of these sets, but last night I went to Walmart about an hour away, found some Lego Movie 2 sets early. We got the Unikitty Sweetest Friends Ever. In fact, we got two of those. I got three of these poly bags, although only one of them is here right now because it's the other two out in the garage. I don't want to get them. We have Emmett's Thricycle. We have, what is this? Battle Ready Batman and Metal Beard. Not a bad set. That was 20 bucks, 15 bucks. We've got the Emmett and Benny's Build and Fix Workshop up front and center. And then lastly, introducing Queen Whatever Wanabi. So. Those are the Lego Movie 2 sets. I think that's all the sets that they had there that I was able to get. So not a bad little Lego Movie 2 haul. I'll still be going to the Lego store the day after Christmas, which is probably when this video will be uploaded to get the rest of the Lego Movie 2 sets. So it should be a pretty insane... Uh, I, don't, I don't know if I'm going to get the rest of all of them, but I'm going to get a majority of them. So let's open this bag here. So the, uh, Target had an insane sale. You can see this box, this box, and these three bags here are from Target. Target had an insane sale about a week ago. I think I got this set for about $60. It's the Quake Mech. 1,200 pieces for $60 is no joke. Uh, Brick Attack and I will build this on a live stream at some point. Uh, he and I also have the Statue of Liberty still to build. We're, we've got a big backlog now. So that's the Quake Mech. Pretty cool set. And for the price, I couldn't beat it. Um, they also had a sale on some battle packs. So I picked up a couple. These are $6 and like 30 cents each. Pretty insane. Not too bad for battle packs. And then I think I got this for like $8 or something. Like this was like stupid cheap. Like Target was having it. Like I don't know how to explain how stupid the sale was having. The sale they were having was. This was maybe like 13 or 14. This was like 30. Yeah, like this was like 15. And then I want to say this set was like 20 or something. Like the sale was insane. That's a $55 set for 20 bucks. Can't beat it. So very pleased with that. But as you can tell, that wasn't all I bought from their sale, which we'll get to in a second. We're going to save that for a minute. All right. So I did get some other stuff at that Walmart yesterday. I got all but one of the Overwatch sets, which I'll also pick up at the Lego store or from lego.com when it's available. Uh, first, we have Hanzo versus Genji. My brother knows more about those sets if he wants to say anything about them. But I got all the Overwatch sets that I could buy. I don't know what you, you don't have anything to say. No, we have uh, Bastion. Or any of the, do any of these catch your eye that you want? Bastion. I think I'm selling that to Jared. Uh, we have Diva and Reinhardt. Diva versus Reinhardt or something. Maybe yeah. Reinhardt. And then lastly, the Dorado Showdown, which isn't a bad set either. I actually quite like the facade of the building in that set. But I figured I'd give the Overwatch sets a go. I thought they'd be cool to take a look at on the channel and build on MNR builds. So 
here they are. I kind of bought them on a whim yesterday, but we'll see how that goes. This package is from BrickVibe, who sent it to me as a gift. So thank you very much to BrickVibe for this one. It's pretty crazy. I cannot believe he actually sent me this, but I will be building it on Building Live with BrickVibe this Thursday. If you guys do want to check that out, you don't want to miss that. Probably for the next two Thursdays, to be honest. But it's a pretty dang big set. I think he's out of his mind for sending me this, but we will definitely have a lot of fun with it. And I don't know where I'm going to put it. Cut that stick out. He sent me the Ewok Village. Holy Jesus. Crazy. So it is open a little, but all the bags, I assume, are there. But he did send me the Ewok Village, which I am just super hyped to build. That is going to be a really cool set to get open and built. I would never bought this one for some reason. It's just one of those sets that kind of passed me by. I was like, oh, I'll buy it in a month. I'll buy it, in, you know, I'll buy it next year, you know? And then I just kind of never bought it. So thank you a ton to Brick Vibe and make sure you check us out on his live stream when I'm building that, building live with Brick Vibe. I'll link down his channel below. This is a package from lego.com. We bought this the other day, probably like a week ago when they had this special sale, not a sale, but they had a, a promo, like a, a pop-up promo. And I already have everything that's in the promo, but I figured I would get in on the action and make a video about it. So it looks like we got the reindeer ornament, which isn't the promo I was going for. And then we have a TIE Fighter, which I bought to be able to receive the promo. And then to get over the $75 limit, we popped a battle pack because why not? I want to wear those, uh, those special troopers there. Shots fired. And then finally, we have the actual promo. It's the Lego Star Wars, what I'm calling the bullshit box, but it's, it's just a black box. Looks like mine's nice and torn already, so thank you, Lego, for doing a great job packing and taking care of mine. I appreciate that kind of stuff. You know, I don't, I don't care about the box at all. It's just trash, right? No, nah, but inside, I'm not going to open this here, but there's a bunch of poly bags that have already been released in the last five years. kind of crappy that they're just re-releasing them, but whatever. This is one of my Target.com orders when they were having that crazy sale. Uh, again, $6.30 for a battle pack. It's not to be played around with. You don't, you don't just forget. You don't just pass on that. So I think right here, there's 20 of these battle packs. So dig in there. It goes a few deep. You get the idea. I think there's about 20 in there. I don't want to pull them all out, but just Star Wars battle packs in there. Pretty dang cool. I have a friend at school is obsessed with the channel. All right, we have one box left from target.com this was another one that i picked up looks like we have another battle pack there should be five of these battle packs in here and then the rest are just other sets so oh my god we've got the daredevil plane i bought the modular winter vacation which i kind of forgot that i bought I bought a set that I've been dying to buy. It's the uh, Cruising Adventures. It's it's a yacht. Pretty pretty damn cool Lego set. And again, we have five of these battle packs in here. I'm not going to bother pulling them out. The biggest one though, the Creator Roller Coaster. I didn't buy the $400 roller coaster, but I bought the bigger one, uh, the smaller one. And pretty happy with this. Uh, these were all 20% off plus the Target red cards. So they were 25% off, which is a pretty good deal for most LEGO sets. That's everything in the haul. Thank you very much to Ed and BrickVibe for sending me those two awesome little Christmas gifts. I guess not little, but those awesome Christmas gifts. I appreciate it, guys. That is all for this giant LEGO mystery haul. Let me know if you enjoyed the video by giving it a like. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. And let me know what you think about it in the comments section below. I will be doing another haul video very soon with what I buy from the LEGO store on the day after Christmas. So be looking forward to that. Other than that, I'll see you guys next video. Peace out.